Hi everyone. This week we are learning all about important African Americans. Before we begin, let's review our focus word. Who can tell me what is our focus word this week? That's right, brave. Today, we will highlight using the focus word in a sentence. So let's begin. <gasps> oh, it's time to read to the teacher. How do you feel? Do you feel brave or scared? We can always use this sentence stem to help us answer the question. I feel brave or scared. I know when I read aloud, I feel brave. That's one thing you can say. Or if you're scared, you can say, I feel scared. And ooh, how about making new friends? How do you feel? It's time to make a new friend. Do you feel brave or scared? Remember, we can use this sentence stem, I feel, to help us respond to this question. So how do you feel? I love making new friends. So I feel brave. Now I want to hear you say it. Nice work. All right, friends. Let's take out our circle map for the word brave. Remember, creating circle maps for our words will help us learn more and more about words. It will make learning new words easy and fun. So today we focused on using our focus word in a sentence. And what did we say about reading to our teacher? That's right, we said, I feel brave when I read. So let's add that to our circle maps. Nice work, friends. Today, we will read an article titled, Nat King Cole. We will hear some words such as musician, that's right, Nat King Cole was a musician. How do we say musician in Spanish? Can you help me? That's right, in Spanish we say una musica or un músico. Ooh, let's take a look at this clip of Nat King Cole. Oh, he is so dreamy and absolutely unforgettable. Do you think Nat King Cole was brave to sing for so many people? Yes, he was very brave but confident because he had a beautiful voice. So now let's get to our article so that we can learn more about Nat King Cole, this unforgettable musician. Let's start by looking at this picture. What do you see? I see Nat King Cole playing a piano. Yes, not only was he a singer, but he played the piano too. So remember friends, I will read this article two times. So listen carefully because afterwards we will take out our book of knowledge and we will write or draw 
one thing you've learned to share with our class. So let's begin at the top of the page. Nat King Cole made jazz music. He made jazz music by playing a piano. He also sang. He had a soft, smooth voice. So let's name one thing Nat King Cole did. And we can use this sentence starter to help respond to this statement. That's right. He made jazz music. Nat King Cole was not just a musician. He was also an actor. He even had his own TV show. Different people would sing and play music on the show. So let's think, hmm, what makes Nat King Cole an important African American? Well, let's look at this sentence. Nat King Cole was not just a musician. He was also an actor. He is very talented. He was a musician and an actor. All right, let's read this one more time. Nat King Cole made jazz music. He made jazz music by playing a piano. He also sang. He had a soft, smooth voice. Nat King Cole was not just a musician. He was also an actor. He even had his own TV show. Different people would sing and play music on the show. Yes. In fact, Nat King Cole was the very first Black American to host a national TV show. That's pretty wonderful. All right, friends, now it's time to take out our book of knowledge. You can grab your notebooks or a piece of paper and something to write with. I will take out our class book of knowledge and we will write or draw one thing you learn to share with our class. Let's go to day three. The task is to draw or write one thing you learned about Nat King Cole. Remember, you can always use your visual word bank to help you spell new words such as musician. Hmm. So what did we learn about Nat King Cole? I know, I'm gonna start by drawing Nat King Cole himself. And we learned that Nat King Cole was a jazz musician and he played the piano. So I'm gonna draw some black and white piano keys. And when I'm done with my drawing, it's time for me to label the different parts of my picture. So this is a picture of Nat King Cole. And if I don't remember how to spell Nat King Cole, I can always go back to our story. So how do we spell Nat? What's that first sound we hear? Mm, that's right. 
that's the letter N for Nat T. King Cole. And this is a picture of a piano. What's that first sound we hear? P what letter makes that sound? That's right, it's the letter P. P, yeah, no. Oh. And when I'm done with my drawing and labeling the different parts of my picture, it's time for me to write my sentence. What can I say? I know. Nat King Cole, right? He was a musician. And if I don't remember how to spell musician, I can always go back to my word bank. All right, can you help me read my sentence? He was a musician. Nice work. Now I can't wait to see your drawings. <laughs>